Underwritten on KTWU by... By Storm Vale HealthWise, proud to support public television and inviting you to join in maintaining a healthy lifestyle. Ladies and gentlemen, it's the Lawrence Welk Show, celebrating more than 60 years on television. Now sit back and enjoy the show selected especially for public television. I'm Mary Lou Metzger, here at the beautiful Welk Resort, San Diego. The theme for this week's show is Backstage with Our Musical Family, first broadcast in 1981, and I think you'll have a lot of fun watching it. I always love to see the shows, too, because not only are these the people that I've worked with most of my life, they are truly like family to me. They're also my friends, and I see them and talk to them all the time, and my scrapbooks are full of them. All of us, the people in front of the camera and those backstage, really were a musical family. Here, see for yourself. Let's take it from the top. From Hollywood, we bring you The Lawrence Welk Show. And now, here he is, Mr. Music Maker himself, Lawrence Welk. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, greetings, friends, and a warm, warm welcome. This evening, we'll give you a peek behind the scenes of our show, backstage with our musical family. Here's one of the most important ingredients of any successful organization. Teamwork, fellas, hit it. husband and wife team, Guy and Rona. You placed gold on my feet. 
audience. Here's a familiar saying that holds true in television, sports, and life in general. You gotta have heart. Gentlemen, one and two and three.
great. Here's my favorite band member and my husband, the bass player extraordinaire Richard Maloof. Hey, that was nice. You can introduce me anytime. <laughs> Richard and I are celebrating our 30th anniversary this year, and we can hardly believe it. This is our engagement picture. Who are those people? <laughs> a long time ago. <laughs> the years have gone by so fast. Especially this one. I bet we didn't spend 30 minutes together. Well, he's right. This year we went in totally different directions. I went out on tour in February, and the day I got back... I came here to play in the band for the show Forever Plaid. Which he finished last weekend. We're actually in the same town today. Good. Happy anniversary, Happy anniversary Eddie. to you. We ought to do, do this, this more, more often. often. <laughs> Got a friend without a song that field of corn would never see a plow. That field of corn would be deserted now. A man is born, but he's no good, no how. Without a song I got my trouble and woe But sure as I know The Jordan will roll I'll get along As long as the song Is strong in my soul show business requires dedication, hard work, and a desire to improve. Let's join Bobby and Elaine for a dancing lesson. Just give us five minutes of your time, folks, and we'll have you dancing up a storm. Put your arm on her waist and stand. With your right in his left hand. And one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Look, you're dancing. Turn around and turn around, try floating through the air. Now try and be a little more aesthetic. Don't you think that dancing has a polish and a flair? Uh, I think the word I'd use is athletic. if you worked a week or so, or the tango filled with passion seething. Be a feather on his shoulder and don't step on his toe. And 
whatever you do, for gosh sakes, keep breathing. <gasps> Lessons. And ladies and gentlemen, we'd like to have you meet these two youngsters. You know, not only senior citizens watch our show. We have David Dixon, 12, and Dee Dee Dixon, 9, and we have their mama here, Mrs. Greg Dixon, who you may remember as Barbara Boylan. And Meg Hansen right behind me from Sioux Falls. Tom Netherton recalls the days of the Ziegfeld Follies. Pretty girls and gorgeous costumes, a sample of the wonderful work of our costume designer, Rose Weiss. A pretty girl is like a melody. She's in your memory by morning, night, and noon. You will see her and then come back again. A pretty girl is just like a pretty tune. Does that number bring back a lot of funny memories? Is that a Ziegfeld Follies number or what? Tom is so handsome in his white tie and tails, singing like a true matinee idol, and we are immobilized on stairs behind him. Those fantastic costumes were borrowed from the Ice Follies, and we called them the Big Uglies because of the trouble we had maneuvering them. They were engineered with heavy plastic sheeting and metal runners under the skirt so they could skim across the ice without destroying the fabric or the feathers. And we needed help getting up the stairs and just walking around was a challenge. Trying to balance that big hat, I felt just like Lucille Ball when she did the comedy bit with the big headdress. But the costumes sure looked fabulous, didn't they? <laughs> the illusion of television. And the Welk Show did it so well, 52 weeks a year. Everyone in show business knows how important makeup can be to a performer. Let's join Ken Dealer and you'll see what I mean. What kind of fool am I? 
who never fell in love it seems that i'm the only one that i have been thinking of what kind of man is this an empty shell a lonely cell in which an empty heart must dwell what kind of lips are these that lie with every kiss that whispered empty words of love that left me alone like this why can i fall in love like any other man and maybe then i know what kind Why can't I cast away this mask of play and live my life? Why can't I fall in love like any other man? And maybe then I'll know what kind of fool I Ken Dilo, always clowning around, but always a wonderful performance. Preparing a television show involves picking songs for the various performers and working out suitable routines. Let's see how the Aldrich sisters and the Otwell twins handle one of those songs. Well, this is one of those songs that you hear now and then. You don't know just where, you don't know just when. It's one of those songs that... It's just one of those songs that you hear for a while That come into fashion and go out of style It's one of those songs that you think you forgot But it's one of those songs you cannot Because it's one of those songs that can make you recall A ride in the springtime, a walk in the fall before we ever get on stage. When the cameras, lights, and mics are ready, it's time to strike up the band. Paul Humphrey, take it away.
Sitting in the trombone section of that band was one of my special friends, Barney Liddell, who passed away recently. He was such a dear, sweet man. Barney and his wife Elaine came to our holiday open house each year, and there was always a crowd around Barney, listening to his funny stories from the past and present. He truly had the gift of gab. Not long ago, our good friend Steve Cooper found an old film, and it features Lawrence Welk on the band in about 1948. There's a great trombone solo from Barney, and this is our special tribute to a great and talented guy. Here, I want you to see it. Behind the scenes of our show, we have a wonderful staff of music arrangers, including Bob Ballard, Jack Please, Kurt Ramsey, Joe Rizzo, Bob Ralston, and Bob Smale. And of course, the man who ties it all together, our musical director and arranger, George Cates. Here is George conducting the band in a Bob Ballard arrangement of the recent hit, Send in the Clowns. Send in the clouds, send in the clouds. Ooh. 
George and Band. Here's a gentleman who makes tap dancing look easy. But I can assure you it means hours of hard work and preparation. Ladies and gentlemen, our king of taps, Arthur Duncan. with our band and still dancing up a storm. You know, folks, show business isn't always as glamorous as you might think. A good trooper often works on the very difficult conditions. Here's Kathy Sullivan proving this point. Don't you just love old-fashioned special effects? <laughs> With all my new producing duties, I look at a lot of the Lawrence Welk shows. In those days, before computer-generated effects, we used things like a rain curtain and fake leaves falling in the background. Our set designer, Chuck Kuhn, was always inventive, even when he had a limited budget. 
We had a special effect you wouldn't believe on our 2003 live show tour. It was the snowstorm of the century in Denver, with 41,000 people stranded out there in the Colorado Rockies. And 27 of them were us. <laughs> Fortunately, we'd made it to our luxurious hotel, and we settled in for a quiet couple of days. But our tour promoter, Brian Edwards, was very calm about it and never lost his faith that we would make it to our next date on time. And sure enough, we did. I've been doing a lot of producing in the last few years, including the tour, and this year I'm producing both the regular fall show and the Christmas show at the Welk Resort in Branson, and Christmas in San Diego as well. I'm sure hoping I don't have any blizzards to contend with, or any other of Mother Nature's special effects. On with the show and we'll find our new trio doing a new number for our show. Let's join Gail, Ron, and Michael. Recently, Lawrence brought to us a best-selling song written by George Cates. So I put together an arrangement of it for the three of us. And tonight, for our number on the backstage show, we'd like to do Fantastic, That's You and You. <laughs> George, some music, please. You look at me and then a song begins Played on a million velvet violins my head goes reeling and around it spins Fantastic, fantastic, that's you You whisper, darling, and before my eyes A blaze of fireworks lights up the skies My heart grows wings and then away it flies Fantastic, fantastic, that's you Heaven opens wide, and there you are inviting me inside. No wonder, angel, that I'm starry-eyed. Fantastic, fantastic, fantastic. That's you. Fantastic, that's you. folks have missed lovely Anna Connie lately on our show. We certainly have. She's been busy working in a movie, and we're delighted to welcome her back. Here she is in a setting designed by our talented art director, Chuck Kuhn. <laughs> Nothing more than a pal, but oh me and oh my, you'll never stop her. She'd be a dangerous gal if she should ever meet the right guy. Oh, the lady in red, the fellas are crazy for the lady in red. Is she a study or buddy? What a personality. She's very proper. She's nothing more than a pal. Stop her. You 
Connie, our little lady in red, but she looks good in any color. Here's another example of the great work of our costume designer, Rose Weiss, and her fine staff. Let's join Mary Lou Metzger and Jack Immel. Okay, Rose Weiss, all is forgiven for the big uglies. Thanks for putting us into absolutely my favorite look, matching tuxedos. Those costumes made Jack and me feel like Fred Astaire and Ginger Rogers. So much fun. When I first joined the show, Jack actually reminded me more of Gene Kelly than Fred. He was so athletic, full of energy and fun, and he was always filled with inventive ideas for every show. And he's still so creative that it amazes me. I am the luckiest gal in the world to have been his partner for all these years. Wait a minute. He's been my partner ever since I was married. I guess this is my 30th anniversary with Jack Immel, too. <laughs> my two special fellas. Now, just to make us all feel our age, what are those primitive things we're using in the next number?
I'm gonna smile and say I hope you're feeling better And close with love the way you do I'm gonna sit right down and write myself a letter And make believe it came Well, it won't be quite the same I'm gonna make believe it came from you very much folks so happy you all liked it as a youngster in south dakota myron florin used to spend eight to ten hours a day practicing on the accordion today you can see and hear the results on television one of the world's greatest accordionists ladies and gentlemen myron you're on <laughs> With all our backstage preparations, all of us have one thing in mind, a good show. If we're successful, we can expect what every performer lives for, applause.
Whenever I could, I used to watch Lawrence's face during the applause after the numbers. Applause was like a vitamin injection to him, and you could see the absolute joy on his face every time. He always said there was no better audience in the world than ours, and he was right. You have continued to be there for us for so many years, and you're always filled with enthusiasm and affection. Believe me, we feel the same way about all of you. Arthur Duncan used to say this, and I think he was right on target. He said, applause is like food to an entertainer. And thanks for that steak dinner you just laid on me. <laughs> thanks for everything, and bye for now. The Lawrence Welk Show is underwritten on KTWU by... By Stormont Vale Healthwise, proud to support public television and inviting you to join in maintaining a healthy lifestyle. Next time on Doc Martin... Think I detect a note of excitement? Martin wants to...